I belong to everybody and I belong to nobody. President Mohamed Buhari made this declaration during his inauguration as Nigeria's 15th president. The first few months of the Mohamed Buhari-led administration were replete with promises, charting his own course on a three-pronged agenda, security, economy and anti-corruption. Not only did President Buhari direct an immediate relocation of the military command center to the northeast in an attempt to halt the preponderance of attacks, but he also increased budgetary allocation to the military, with terror activities falling by 2022 below the 2014 levels. The government still grappled with growing banditry and successionist movement in the southeast. I extend the same condolence to the families and friends of our countrymen women and children who are unfortunate victims of such senseless arsons, kidnappings and murders. The progress or lack of progress thereof was no deterrence, as the administration also embarked on a national infrastructure revival drive as part of efforts to get the economy running. It's clear, the evidence is there, that a lot of effort is being put in by the government. So if you're, if you're going to rate them there, you have to rate them much better, that there has been progress in that area. So really, at the end of the day, you're going to have to look in different dimensions as to how the administration has done. I think overall, it is still a tepid performance. Funding for the Ministry of Works and Housing also increased from 18 billion naira in 2015 to 216 billion naira by 2023. The idea was erected on the quest to unlock the economy and encourage investment in the country, but he failed to stop the debts from piling from 12.6 trillion naira to over 80 trillion naira and an unwelcome milestone of a historic inflation. If you borrow and invest properly, and there is a way of the, the, those ports paying for themselves because they do have the capacity. If those funds that were borrowed to develop them are not captured into private pockets, or most of them are captured into pro private po pockets. Um, so the idea is like every other idea, I will not judge at the level of ideas of their contribution. It's still too early and it's ongoing. You still have the lake port and the rest of them. By 2017, the president's health deteriorated, necessitating a lengthy medical vacation lasting a record 152 days. The years leading up to the COVID-19 pandemic saw shorter visits, and in those intervening periods, the vice president, Professor Yemi Oshibaju, carried on the business of governance seamlessly. The reputational capital of the president grew in 2018 when he apologized to the late Moshud Abiola's family, conferring on him a posthumous award of GCFR and declaring June 12 as the new Democracy Day. The story of the anti-corruption drive of the Buhari-led administration is a mixed bag of opinions. Fighting impunity maybe should take precedence. And we have seen it when we see a public official that was allegedly, you know, stealing five billion. And if you really want to fight corruption, you start with people who are related to you. In a chat with Mr. Garba Shehu, one of his spokespersons, the president's belief that he has done his very best for the country was re-echoed. Well, go and look at the space. Bulgaria has lessons far more private universities in the country than anyone had ever done, had ever dreamed of. You know, my own sense is that we as Nigerians, we don't like our leaders. There will be love at first sight. There will be honeymoon period when they come in. The honeymoon doesn't last a year. So we are comfortable in our hearts, in our minds. President Buhari will go. Nigerians will yearn for him. Some of the landmark reforms include the passage of the Petroleum Industry Act in 2021, the 2022 Electoral Amendment Act, the 2019 Police Trust Fund Act, and the Not Too Young to Run Bill 2018, among others. Analysts, however, maintain more can be done. For example, the, the change in uh, the, the, the new Naira notes that we issued, it just set everything back to zero for, for most industries and they're finding uh, they're having to crawl out of difficult positions that they got into as a result of a poorly managed process. 
On May 29, 2023, Senator Bola Tinubu will be taking the oath of office and there will be significant attention and expectations on how he accelerates actions to address the lingering challenges, hopefully aiming to outpace his predecessors. From the presidential villa, Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.